Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm working on a 24 by 36 inch canvas and I'm doing a mixed media piece with spray paint and then lots of very fluid acrylics. That first one is Heavy Body, uh, Golden's Heavy Body's Payne's Gray. That smoky blue gray color there is a mix of all four of the other colors. Uh, then I have Ultramarine Violet. Uh, from Amsterdam and this lovely lavender color is the star of the show and it is a mix of titanium white and six drops of the ultramarine violet um, and then my last color there the white is chromacryl white vallejo pearl medium and deco art satin enamels i kind of threw the kitchen sink sink at it because i wanted both pearls and a cloudy effect. So I know those three ingredients are the things that I usually get those effects from. I don't think I've ever used them together in the same mix before though. So um, I thought I'd give it a try. And um, the first thing I'm gonna do here is lay out um, or cover my sides and edges with the, or with the uh, cloudy pearl mix. Uh, if I get pearls nowhere else, I want it on the edges. Um, but I do end up getting it all over the canvas, but um, I wanted to ensure that I at least got the, the pearls on the outside edges. Um, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to also mention that this video is part of my monthly color collaboration with Julie E from Art by Julie E. And she's the one who chose the color lavender. Um, so that's how I ended up with that beautiful, um, uh, ultramarine violet and white mix um, and when I'm building a color palette like this starting from a single color my first thought always is what's going to be my contrast what color is going to um, really uh, show off that main color so um, I love blues and violets together they're always my favorites and my favorite combo so I went with the Payne's gray and I think uh, that lavender and the Payne's Gray is a fantastic combination. Um, and actually this uh, kind of smoky blue-gray color uh, in violet um, is leftovers, the scra table scrapings from the test piece that I did right before this. I, I scraped up my table because I always try and do that uh, to avoid waste. And um, when it got into the cup and I kind of mixed it up, I was like, oh, that's a pretty color. I should just go ahead and use it. So I'm glad I did. I think it's a, a beautiful addition to this color palette. It's like a bridge color between all of the others. And uh, yeah, I really love the way it worked out. Uh, so now it comes down the, uh, the lavender mix. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that contrast with the Payne's Gray and the Ultramarine Violet. It's so pretty. Great color choice, uh, Julie E. Um, and it's such a perfect color for spring and for Easter that's coming up. So yeah, this is a good idea. Um, I'm laying out my colors here in just kind of a random pattern. Because I want the cloudy effect, I know I'm going to be tilting this a lot. So the design doesn't really matter. I was just trying to make sure that all of the colors interacted with each other. I wanted that Payne's Gray next to the Ultramarine Violet and the Lavender and that Blue Gray and the White. I wanted all of those colors to be touching each other somewhere on the canvas. So um, I'm just also making sure that I have more paint on the canvas than I actually need uh, because I know I'm going to be tilting it a lot. Um, fluid paints um, are move faster on the canvas and you actually need less uh, fluid paints but in this case I used about 30 ounces of paint on the canvas which is what the exact same amount I would need if I were doing something of a thicker consistency. Um, all of my paints were mixed with two parts US Floetrol, gloss varnish and um, PVA glue and then thinned with bottled water. And because I thinned them down to the point that they left no mound at all when it drizzled off of the stir stick, I also added in a little bit of um, uh, GAC 800, which is a really strong binder. 
Um, and now you see me adding the, the spray paint. I started off for the most part following where the Payne's Gray was because I wanted that, uh, I think that gold will show up really well over top of the darker color. And then I realized I kind of wanted the gold to meet all of the colors. So I just kind of randomly sprayed some lines all around. Again, I knew I'd be um, tilting this a lot, so I wasn't sure what I'd be keeping. And I wanted to make sure there was still some gold left over uh, after all of this tilting. And it's really interesting where I sprayed it directly into the, the pearl mix. There are pearls coming right up through it in that area. So that kind of gives me some ideas for uh, future pours. Um, and once you spray the spray paint, you can't torch uh, to get rid of the air bubbles. So I'm just using a palette knife here and popping any larger bubbles that I see. Um, these thinner consistency paints don't hold air bubbles anyway. Uh, so I wasn't worried about it too much, but I didn't want any of those larger bubbles to distort the tilt. So I popped the larger ones and then uh, the others just popped naturally. There, weren't, there wasn't any uh, visible at all by the time I was done tilting um, of the smaller ones. So now I think I'm just going to move all of my paints off to the side and we will start tilting. This is the fun part where it really starts to move. And I am going to speed this up at some point and put some music on for you. Uh, but I'm going to uh, tilt, show you the tilt here in real time so you can see how fast and how actually slow I tilted this. Because these paints are so fluid, I didn't want them to just fly off the canvas. I wanted to maintain some control. And I also kind of wanted to show you at this point that um, this spray paint is not moving the way I was expecting it. I really thought, and what I've seen other artists do um, when they use the spray paint on fluid uh, paint like this, is the spray paint breaks up into these little, almost fractals, where my spray paint really kind of clumped to get together and stayed in lines. Uh, um, there's, there's some lacing in here that happens, which is really pretty, uh, but I've just ordered some um, Montana spray paint, and I'll be using that one in my next one. I'm gonna do this exact same kind of pour and see if I get a different effect from a different brand of paint. I initially chose this brand, this Corona brand, because it is low fume, and it's rated for indoor and outdoor use. And um, so I thought it would be fairly safe to practice with in my indoor setting, but I do have the ceiling fan on and the window open, which is part of why it was so noisy. Um, uh, so, you know, but uh, when I'll be using the next brand, it's not low fume and it's not rated for indoor use. So I will be using a respirator mask uh, when I get to the spray part, spray paint, spray paint part. So um, yeah, now I'm gonna put, uh, speed this up a little bit and put on some music for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to do the ub 2 b things and give me a like and, uh, and a, a follow if you enjoy what you see. And um, I encourage you to uh, give yourself the freedom to make mistakes and learn something along the way and just be fearless.
drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Think and break me.